In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make your very own animations in UEFN, including using Control Rig to create your own animations, importing animations, editing animations, and retargeting the animations to be used with different skeletal meshes. And finally, I'll show you how to blend all these animations to create some pretty cool things like this. So let's get to it. Um, we're going to just start off with the real basic stuff, all right? So if I go into Conjure and I go into Fortnite and I search up FN, we're going to find this right here, the FN mannequin, and we're going to bring him out. Now this mannequin, oh, this is a skeletal mesh. That's very important because skeleton meshes are what you need to play animations. As you can see, we're here, animation to play. Uh, if you click on this, you're going to notice um, there's actually no animations. So how do we get animations for our mannequin? Now, there's two ways. We can either import our own or we can make our own. So what you want to do is you want to go into your, your cotton drawer. You want to right click and you want to go into cinematics and make a level sequence. Now, this will be our animator. Okay. Now, in here, we're going to add our, our guy into here. Add actor to the sequence here, which is add device mannequin. And in here, we'll have all of these. We'll have all these options which is device mannequin animation and transform now right now we don't have any animations so what we need to do is we need to make some as you already know so we need to click in here and then we can go down to control rig go into control classes and we can add in the fx control rig now you're going to go into animation mode and you're going to see a bunch of stuff happening you don't have, you have to use any of this just go back into sequencer if you look at your um skeleton make sure you don't have g enabled which is game view if you press g you just see this and these are the bones of our skeleton um i want to make a little quick animation okay so what you can do is if you if you click on any of these you're gonna notice they're gonna turn a bit yellow and you can have them selected and you can and you can move and you can rotate different bones around depending on what you want which is pretty cool now inside the sequencer if you really don't know how to use the sequencer i have a full tutorial on it but for now this one i'm using right now is upper arm l2 and then this would be lower arm and so on and so forth but with this we're going to make some keys okay to add a key we can click this little one right here or we're going to enter and that's going to add a key for this arm right here if you want to return this to your the original spot after the animation is over what you want to do is you want to control c this key and then you want to bring it over to the very end then you want to control v and then that will copy and paste it so now nothing's happening because it's the same key so it's moving to nowhere on the timeline and with this guy's arm what i can do is i might just now rotate it like this so wow look. i can go like this so now his arm will now do a little animation like this which will go out and then it's gonna go back to where it was this is very basic and it looks pretty robotic but you know this basics need to know okay now let's say if i i'm gonna make this really crude okay i'm gonna make him run what i'm gonna do is with his thigh i'm going to make it so i need this in the middle because that's how running works usually uh if with animations uh opposite leg with opposite arm this is how you want to do it so this is to make it really crude i'm gonna do this like that there we go perfect so now he's gonna he's gonna be running again this is this is this is this is this is very very crude okay it's very very crude now we have well, his legs will now swing and if i do the other arm by um i need to do the opposite so i'm going to put the resting the one where his arms be going down in the middle and then i'm going to do the one out at the edge here another one at the end over here okay so this is very bad okay i know it's it's kind of terrible but <laughs> it's, wow he's running so now what we can do is we, we need to make this into an animation okay what we need to do is if you go back up go if you close this out if you click on these keys and this this presses a button it's gonna make it so it's a bit more concrete here we go another like orange and all we can do if you right click on device mannequin we go down to bake animation sequence this is gonna be an animation sequence so wherever the start and end of the sequence is this is gonna be baking the animation of running and then i'm gonna put this into i guess in here so now uh if you just do export the animation set we now have an animation which is running if i were just to quickly go out of the sequence you can see now that this guy is here so if I go into details, now if I go into Animal to Play, you're going to notice now, I'm going to have an animation here, which is running. So if I click on this, you're going to notice now, he's going to be uh, running. Now I'm going to keep this on looping, and I'm going to keep this on playing too. You can also change the initial position, so you can change the where it is in, in the, uh, the sequence. Also change the play rate as well, so you can make him run faster or slower, or whatever you want to do. And now in game, would you look at this? <laughs> he's doing a little running animation that we just made. Wow. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to, you can import your very own animations. So here I am on a website called Mixmo. On this website, you can get some really good animations for anything you really want to make. Now, I want to grab this little animation. I want to, I want to click in place, so it's, he's he's not going to move anywhere. I'm just going to grab this mannequin character here. So now we have this little running animation. Um, I'm going to download it. I'm going to make it so it's an FPX. Then I'm going to do it with the skin, do 60 FPS, and I'll download. So once you import everything, you just click import all, and then you're gonna get you're gonna import everything. So now we have um, the, a new skeletal mesh inside of UEFN. 
And this guy can also do the run animation that we just got, which is wow, look at that. But now you're going to notice something. The animations can't be used universally. So if I go into this, this device mannequin and I go with animation to play, I can't use the other animation. I can only use this old animation I already made, which is a lot worse and more terrible than this one. So how do we make it so this mannequin can use this uh this animation well it's very simple we need to set up ik rigs and we're going to retarget everything so i'm going to make a new folder the ik and then here we're going to add in an ik retargeter we're then going to go and then add in an ik rig which just will be for old mannequin i guess and then we're going to add in another ik rig for new mannequin so if i, if I click into old mannequin first and what i need to do is i need to add in our fn i need to add in our fn mannequin and here we are inside of here. Now what we need to do now, auto create retarget chains. And then we also need to auto create IK rig. But now we've done this, this should be good. So we just need to save this and go out of it. And now what we need to do is we need to go into our new mannequin rig, which is gonna be for this guy. We're gonna go in here. We're gonna find the one we just got, which is this guy. So now we have this. So now we wanna do auto create retarget chain. And then we also gotta do auto create IK rig. And now we have this guy rigged up. So we'll just save him, go out. And now if we go into our retargeter, our source will be the new mannequin and then our target will be our old mannequin. So now this guy is gonna be trying to get, this guy's gonna be trying to be retargeted to the, the new guy. Now what we need to do is we wanna edit the retarget pose. Cause right now, as you can see, his arms are look, looking not nice because um, he's not in the right pose. So if you see in the editing retarget pose, his arms are still down. Cause this guy's in a T pose. What we wanna do is we wanna make it so the FM mannequin is in a T pose as well. We'll just move him up like this. Uh, that, that should be fine. And then as you see, when we run the retarget, his, his hands are gonna be kind of fixed now. So now with this made, this should be fine, okay? Now what we need to do is we need to go down into asset browser. I mean to find this, which is animation and run which is what we, the animation run we just made and now what we can do is we can do export selected animations and what this will do is it'll export the run animation for the target any source animation from the source target this will make the animation for the target which is the the fortnite man again so if i go into here i'm going to make it so i'm just gonna i'm gonna call this uh run for new and then i'm going to export it now we're going to export this and it's going to make it a new animation as you can see is right there so now if i go back into our old mannequin go into here and then i do this we now have the other running animation for our fortnite mannequin which is very nice so now what we can do is if we go into our animator again and then with this device mannequin what we can do is I'll add a little track for it which is going to be the animation track what we can do is we can add in our new animation we just made so now as you can see our animation from that guy is now in this guy which is very nice wow look at that now also another cool thing you can do is with this animation we can actually go into we can right click here and you can actually bake to control rig so now if we do bake to control rig fx rig you can click reduce keys those so just reduce the keys because it's going to make a lot of keys so if we do this we've now baked the animation to control rig so now the animation uh we just imported you cannot edit it in the control rig if you wanted to so now we can go in here there's a lot of keys but um in here if i grab this little arm if i, if I just delete this arm like this and this now it's now kind of changed the animation of it you see or for some reason i didn't want this leg to move i could delete this entire leg and now now we got this wonky animation but for now i'm just going to go back to um you know this animation so now what we're gonna do next we're gonna grab another animation and we're gonna put it into we're gonna we're gonna blend the animations so he's gonna go from this animation to a different animation and then also for this example i'm going to grab an animation for jump so i'm gonna get one for jumping and this jump animation will do so we'll grab it we'll download and then do the same stuff now when you're importing a new animation you can want to make the skeleton the, the 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 run guy so now it's going to work for this so now we're going to import this all so now we have our animation that's now um for this guy now what we can do is again like before in retargeter you can notice now we have another one down here which is jumping so we're going to export this again we're going to make it so it's um for a jumping i'm gonna put this into here and export it this is going to export for the fm mannequin so we have another animation for the fm mannequin and now in the sequencer what we can do is if we go out of animation mode right click the animation we can now add a new animation which is our jumping so now uh if i, if I get rid of this you're not going to see we can now do a little jump for the mannequin guy. So with this, now what we can do is we can grab our other our run. I'll put our run on top of this. So now if you see it on top of it, it's not gonna kind of like transition. It's not right, it's not perfect. So what we can do is see this little triangle at the top, this yellow triangle that turns blue. If you drag it out, so you can blend the animation. So I'm gonna fade it in. I'm gonna fade out the the running and then I'm gonna fade in 
the jumping. So if you look at this now, he's going to run into a jump. Does you see that? So it's a lot more smoother and a lot more nicer looking. And then all you can do again, back to 10, all you can do then is we can add another animation, which is for the run. We could do more running, and now he's gonna jump, and he's gonna go back to running like this. So now if I do this like this, he's gonna jump, and then he's gonna go back to running. So I made this sick obstacle course, and I get making to presume what I'm about to do. <laughs> so I wanna make it so he's jumped. So do this, we're gonna add a transform track. And basically what this will do is it'll allow us to move him while he's doing his little animation. Now you need to make sure you get this right, otherwise he can look a bit goofy sometimes. Either they're too slippery or they're going a bit too fast. So obviously he, we want him to jump around the time when he's here. And then we want him to land, where's the landing? He lands about here. So you obviously want him to jump here, which is over here. So he's gonna go, whoop. Now we're just gonna do it to the end. Now we got this little sick jumping animation. Obviously, you can make this a lot better if you wanted to, but this is how you would use two animations to make a little, like, little thing you want to do. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, this is a little quick one about animations, so remember to like, subscribe, and use my code of the Fortnite M shop. And watch all of these videos for more of my content. That's about it. I'll see you all around. Congratulations, you got the secret ending.